All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm going to show you and demonstrate using these examples down here. We had students coming to the board. We had random students coming to the board. It was everybody in the room. Even Brenna came to the board. And one of the things we learned was that you could take point slope form and you can re rearrange point slope form and then solve for it. Now the trickiest ones are ones like seven and ones like 10. Y plus one equals one half X minus three. You can re when you solve that, you end up getting negative five over two as your Y intercept. One thing we also talked about was when they come out like this, y equals negative 2x plus 6. You could also use a plugging in method, but we're going to stick to just the point slope method for now. So point slope method involves point slope method involves the equation for point slope. And the equation for point slope looks like these. Right here. Here's the equation for point slope form. y minus y equals m times x minus x. We're going to go back to this equation here and keep going. Y equal, this y minus 3 equals negative x plus 1 becomes y equals negative x plus 2. We're going to go to the next one and go, this is another tricky one, because you have to realize that when you move the 2, the 2 is no longer a 2. The 2 becomes 8 over 4. When you subtract it from 3 over 4, you end up with negative 5 over 4. So. Oh. Um, wait, I need to go. Okay. Um, so you take, take the three and you subtract it and you put it to the other side and then you get negative three and then that's your answer. Yes. One extra thing I'm going to point out is when you get a coordinate and the coordinate is zero, negative three, or zero, anytime you have a zero in the x uh, in the x coordinate spot, you actually can just use that as the y intercept. You don't actually have to go through this whole process. And the last one over here, it's kind of being blocked by my face, but I am going to talk about it. When you have um, slope of zero, no matter what the coordinate is, the y, whatever the y is, if it says y equals five, or in this case, slope is zero, you're going to always have a horizontal line. So that horizontal line will just, in this case, be at the coordinate 5. Thank you very much.